Hi there, my name is Lindsay Martinez and I am an Assistant Director in the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership Development here at Worcester State University. I manage our commuter services in my role and I am here to talk to you a little bit about what we offer for commuters and what commuters should know when they're getting going here at Worcester State. So first is where um, where our office is located and what we're about. So you can find commuter services on the second floor of the Student Center in the Office of Student Involvement. We are right next to our main commuter lounge space, which is our living room. Our living room is also a game room and a space where we do programming for commuters such as Commuter Appreciation Week, our Sweet Treat Tuesdays, our Make and Take Novelty Days, um, and other commuter socials. Um, that space is really great for those kind of programs. Our student organization, the Commuter Activities Board, is also located in that space. Their offices can be found there, and their mission is to um, host programs specific to commuters that are accessible and in a great time for them to join in while they're on campus. So a big topic amongst commuters is our parking and our transportation. So our parking decal is free for all of our commuter students. It is mailed to students about a week before, um, before classes begin. Um, and a second decal is available if students happen to share a car with their families or need a second parking decal. Um, so when school begins, uh, they should already have one mailed to their homes. Um, but if they don't, um, parking and transportation located in Wesleyan Hall can assist them further. Parking is available in our campus lots on levels three to six in our garage, and we have some overflow lots available. Um, just like any university, it can be a bit of a challenge, but here we've been able to make it work really well. Students have been getting really good at timing out their schedules to make sure that they can park and have all the time that they need to do what they have to do. We also work closely with um, our bus and local transportation. Students could purchase a U-Pass to give them unlimited bus rides, and we have two stops located on campus to make make public transportation very accessible for our students. All students, um, especially commuters, should have our emergency notification system set up and ready to go. So our emergency alerts notify of any important safety information, any weather-related information, any delays or closings, and other campus emergencies. Um, and they can get notified through their email, through text, and the ways that they opt in to get the most accurate information are completely up to them, but are also really important um, because we don't want commuters showing up in the snow for a class that's been canceled or for a school day that's been canceled. It is imperative to check your email early in the morning um, or check um, our WSU website for emergency notifications. It's usually updated nice and early at 5 a.m. We really encourage students to download that Rave Guardian app to let them know what's going on and make sure that they have all of the tools that they need at their fingertips to be most safe on campus. So dining services. Our dining services here at Worcester State offers a dining dollars plan automatically added to the bill for commuter students um, who are underclassmen. $150 is added and can be spent at any of our dining locations. Um, it can be spent at the student center, the cafe, the pod, um, any of our Worcester State dining locations while they're on campus which offer a variety of different things for students. They must be spent by the end of the semester. They do not roll over. Um, and additional funds can be added at any time. We definitely recommend to add to your common funds that can be used um, for dining, for um, retail on campus, buying tickets, things like that. Students will also receive um, printing funds that um, begin at $20 and can be added so they can print on campus anywhere that may charge, such as the library. Students should also be aware that there are jobs available on campus um, and other opportunities to get involved. I really encourage them to make the most of their Worcester State experience, even if they don't live here. Um, if there's any further questions about commuter services, about program that's on campus, or anything related to kind of that commuter experience, I can be reached at lmartinez6 at worcester.edu or found in the Office of Student Involvement on the second floor of the Student Center. Thank you.